eye on the laptop. My birthday. The Creative Haven books. So, um, yeah, we went there together and she picked out some books for me and in one of them I've even picked out the first page I want to tell. Oh, oops. Oh, crash. Sorry. Um, while I'm here, that's my view outside. Can you see it? Hang on. Yep. Um, hopefully you're not upside down. But, um, yeah, I'm at my window at the moment. <laughs> it came off the stand. No, 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 that's no good. Oh, really? Okay, I'm having one of these days, aren't I? I am, I'm having one of these days. Okay, let's try and get you sorted. Yeah, so I've got my bedroom window open. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not too bright, but it's lovely with the sun coming through the window. Um, yeah, so now I've totally um, wiped it, you guys, and wiped everything out. Let's start on this book haul. So, let's see. The first one is Elegant Tile Designs, it is by Marty Noble. And as you can see by my tag, this is the one that I've chosen to do a book out of, a page out of first. I got these little tags from a discount store. They've got a cute little heart on them, but they're not very sticky. They don't work too well, uh, but they're cute. So, Elegant Tile Designs by Marty Noble. Very, very pretty book. Lots of patterny stuff in them, which I like. Now, Creative Haven is um, made, produced by David Publications, and I am hoping you can see this well enough, but there are some absolutely gorgeous designs in this one. I can see myself working in this one really easy. I better put that onto live chat, so... I can see if anybody anybody decides to come on for a conversation. That, no, let's put that arm down there. It's not like, okay, let's keep doing it the way I'm doing it. But it is a really, really pretty book. I wonder if I put if I push you down a bit, that might. Uh, Play silly buggers with the phone. Now I'll move that over a bit. Let's see if you get a better image of what's on here. Because I do actually want you to be able to see the patterns. Because they are absolutely gorgeous. Some, as you can see, are more detailed than others. But um, I, they, they tend, some of them, they tend to be repetitive. And I actually do like repetitive patterns. Some are, some aren't. But I can see myself having a lot of fun in this book. This is the one I've tagged. As you can see, it is sort of repetitive on each one, but I find that quite relaxing. Looking through it, I want to do them all. Five books she got me. Very spoiled. And she also sent me some flowers too. So that's that one. 
next is Art Nouveau, Nouveau, Art Nouveau De Nature Designs. Okay, I must say inside who this one is by. Uh, so let's have a look. Oh, Martin, Marty Noble again. So once again, they're sort of flowery and patterny type ones, which absolutely works for me. Oh, looks like dragonflies. Yeah, I'm not going to turn the um, pages around, turn the book around. I'm just going to flick through these. I do actually have quite a few books here. But um, now I'm not going to say I'm going to go on a no bite. I'm going to say I'm going to go on a slow bite. So I'm not going to turn around and say I'm not buying any more because I know that's going to be too hard. Looks a bit like pineapples. Um, so I'm not going to do that to myself. But I am definitely going to slow down. I do have books coming in the mail so there will be an April haul um, I do have books on pre-order <laughs> mum looked at that and she said it looks like there's strawberries being strangled so I might even do them like that but um, yeah I do have some books on pre-order and I have got some coming in the mail but I am going to slow down with how many I buy I'm completing through the year and maybe if reasonable if I complete two books I can buy one so um, the ones I've done already this year only this year and I've um, encouraged me to finish books too um, so I'm going to start that rule now today So from now on, other than what I have already ordered, I need to complete two books to be able to buy one. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this up for, but I'll try. Um, I am, because it's not so hot, as we're now in autumn, I'm not being... Okay, I wonder what they actually are. Because mum said they look like strawberries being strangled. I don't know what they are, but I might actually draw them. Call them as strawberries being strangled. I'm not sure. Because um, it's cooling down a bit, I'm not being as obsessive with my colouring. So I am doing other crafting. This one's... Um, Owls by Marjorie Sarnet. So I have been doing some knitting. I went back in yesterday and I did some diamond painting and some cross stitching. So you should actually see some other craft work coming through um, from now on, hopefully. Just some of, I'm feeling the heat more as I'm getting older and it was just too hot. All I did was colour pretty much this summer. But yeah, it's cooling down so I can do other things now. and mugs die. <laughs> oh dear, it's away. That's cute. Here there be owls. Yep, fair enough.
Now I had a massive clean up in my room because this table was completely covered in stuff. Um, but I thought, no, I want to be out now. I want to be able to um, work at my table again. I've got no cooling in this room. So in summer I um, use the couch in the dining room. It's the only room in the ceiling fan. But now I can spend some more time in here, seeing though it's um, getting cooler down and I'm not sitting in a puddle of sweat. And that's sort of steampunky, but I'm not a steampunk person. I mean, you know, that I might change my mind down the track, but... So if I might do this page in um, this book first because it doesn't seem quite so doodly and overloaded and complicated. I might mark that one. Get one of those tags that isn't quite so um, sticky and stick it, put it in there. So I think I'll mark that one. I would like to do at least one page in each of these books that mum gave me so I can show her. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. Edward Lear. Mum um, has been in and out of hospital twice. She was in there for nine days because she collapsed and she nearly had a stroke. So she had three stints put in and medication changed. And she went home. And then she um, collapsed and had problems breathing again. It's another Marjorie Sarnet. Let me have a drink. Um, and she went in and they did all sorts of tests. And it turns out that there was a little bit of plaque in there that they had pro they couldn't get to or any something, and that was causing the trouble. So they've increased her cholesterol tablets. I really should have a stubby holder or something for my can because it's cold. It wants to drip on my table. I had one drip on um, the colour page I was working on a couple of days ago with um, the Crayola Super Tips. And yeah, it did lighten the colour somewhat, but that's alright. So cute. Yeah, so yeah, playful puppies. Marjorie Sarnet, if I didn't say so. Pirate puppy. But yeah, it is very cute. I think my cat had an upset belly yesterday. She um, threw up partly on her bed and partly on the floor because I was sitting on the bed cross-stitching and so it was just a case to clean it up and change the sheets. So it's not a problem. Um, she's sleeping at the moment. She's sleeping in her favourite box. Very cute.
it's very cute. So this has substantially increased my um, collection of Creative Haven books. Okay, we've done copies, we've done that one, we've done that one. Okay, this one next. This is the last one I got for my birthday. Art Novo, Nuvo, Art Nuvo, speak properly, Animal Designs. Okay, inside another Marty Noble. So it was obviously a um, Marty Noble and Marjorie Sarnat haul. Very pretty. Hummingbirds. Yep. And little sea one, seahorses. And I see myself doing some of these in a mixture of pencil and gel pen. That bird is that a crane? What sort of bird is it? Don't know. This morning I've been knitting. I put the um, ceiling fan on in the um, dining room and turned on YouTube and I sat down and did some knitting. I'm working on a shawl at the moment. I've got six balls of wool I'm going to put into it and I have I'm up to the third ball. I just started the third ball this morning. So technically that makes some a third of the way through. Now lobsters when they're cooked are orange. What colour are they when they're not cooked? Because those ones look like they're not cooked, so I can't do them orange. But I suppose my book I can do them whatever colour I want, I guess. Hey, this is getting puppy dog. I was watching a video this morning of an extreme colouring tag. Um, Jamie's colouring love it might have been. I can't remember, but um, she was going through the re this creative haven tag. So that's what I've got for my birthday. Next, I got one from Booktopia. It's a colour by numbers book. Uh, David Woodruff. He's done quite a few and they're very nice. So I will just show you um, the pictures, images at the back. If you don't want to see what the images are, just... Um, Close your eyes for a minute. Okay, there is some at the front too. Here we go. So this is what some of the images are in this book. It's got a nice variety, a nice mixture. So that's going to be a lot of fun. You know how much I love my colour by numbers. And it's got 24 colour palette, which isn't bad. Next, I will show you. Um, get up to reach this lot. <laughs> okay. Now, I think this top one came from Big W. This is from Local. Um, I think the other two came from Kmart. So I'll set that aside for the moment. 
So this is just a children's um, Easter cheer bubble sticker activity book. So we've got the bubble stickers there at the front, which are very cute. Okay. Easter egg design. I might just stick the bubble stickers in there at some point. <laughs> Don't know. Um, so as you say, it's double-sided. It will be pencils, but there's nothing complicated about it. And I do like things that aren't complicated. Uh, so that's a double-sided image. Because it's a children's book, it does go in to the scene there, crease, but um, that's fine. I can live with that. Still going to be fun. Lots of colouring in here still. I just want, I know I'm not a seasonal colourist, but I did want something Easter y. That one really goes in there, but that's alright. Yeah, I'll just show you one side. You've got the rough idea anyway of um, what sort of book this is. It's just a children's book, do it with pencils. But it's going to be fun. Draw an Easter chick. Uh, the grid's on the other side. Probably not. Probably not. I'll do something else with the page. Might put stickers on it. And you know me, cute always gets me, it really does. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, publishers, publishers, Lake Press. Some Lake Press books before. Next one. Okay, Easter one. Colour your own Easter surprise mindful poster art, Lizzie Doyle. Now, there's been a few of these mindful poster art books that have come out. Um, and it's really nice because they are thick paper. Um, good chance they will fall apart because they're meant to come apart. But I can lash out with my gel pens all I want on these books. Because it is, it's card. <sighs> Sometimes I think I'm missing a page, but I'm not because it's so thick. But it's adorable. It really, truly is adorable. one is also a poster art book. I'll make sure I don't bump you while I'm moving my books around. Okay, so Zen Zoo, Mindful Calm. Is that going to present? Calm Down Colouring, Mindful Poster Art. Okay, do we have an illustrator? It's written on the side, on the back. So it's still Wake Press. So they must be bringing out all these books. But now yeah, I can't see an illustrator for this one.
I don't know if you can get these books from anywhere else. I just bought them locally. Uh, Kmart's had some really, really good books in lately. That's why I can't put myself on a no buy altogether. Um, I'm just going to try and make it a slow buy just to try and limit myself a little bit more. Because I have going, been going a little bit crazy lately. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. So that's that lot. Okay, next. I got myself some from Book Warehouse. That's this lot here. These ones I purchased myself from Book Warehouse. So I will put them aside. I've got a wasp hanging outside the window. Okay, now if you didn't know... I love the Smurfs. I've got some of the old original Smurfs from, um, must have been the 80s. Um, I had took them with me when I went to uni in the 90s. So whether the Smurf, all the Smurf, little Smurf figurines came out in the 80s or whatever, but I still got some of them and love it. I love the Smurfs. Um, so, yeah, I got this one. It's a colouring and puzzle book. Uh, the five mile press it sounds says it down the bottom now this is double sided but it is also just a children's coloring book work on it in pencil Gargamel. <laughs> I enjoyed watching the movies and in the first one as Sarah, Gar Gargamel throws Azrael into um, where the Smurfs are and he goes, Azrael, are you dead? And I found that so funny that every now and then if I hear the, a bang in the boys' bedroom or something every so often I just say, are you dead? Can't help myself. It's just, it's just so funny. And answers. Okay, next, another Creative Haven book. I uh, think I bought this one because the pages aren't complicated. Okay, let's have a drink without dripping it everywhere. <laughs> I'm drinking my usual Pepsi Max. That's my poison. I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke, I don't take drugs, I don't gamble. And now I'm low carb. Uh, Pepsi Max is my treat. Jessica Mazurkowitz. said I do like repetitive designs I find it relaxing I don't have to think about colors so much because I can just pick a couple of colors and just go for it so this book is right down my alley so to speak um, I like my pattern books and it's it makes it more like a pattern book I've got washing in the washing machine, so I'll have to go hang that out after I'm done. And then I will have to put some more in the machine. Saturday, weekends, I need to wash um, school clothes. And I also need to wash the sheet that um, Chipper was sick on. So I'll get all of that done. I've got sausages out for tea. I might um, do them some mashed potato tonight. Because I'm low carb and I can't eat potatoes anymore, I feel less inclined to cook potatoes, if that makes any sense. Um, whether that's selfish of me or not, I don't know. But um, 
Maybe I'm just a terrible mummy because if I can't eat it myself, then I don't feel inclined to cook it so much. And if what they say about carbohydrates, if they're so bad for us because they just our body just turns carbohydrates into sugar, then really, you think about it really, are carbohydrates just a mouthful of sugar? Don't. Okay, I've seen this book a number of times on um, YouTube and I um, when I saw it I thought well that's it I'm gonna get it so that says Mademoiselle's cats coloring for mindfulness uh, which cat are you so fister cat or alley cat sad cat or happy cat all of that stuff I don't feel like reading all of that Okay. Um, okay. So maybe you're talking about here, I don't know if you can see that without me bumping it all over the place. That might be who the illustrators are. Uh, two illustrators, but they're in French. Sorry, I'm not going to try and pronounce those. There'd be other flip throughs in here. Okay. Yeah, this is double sided, so I will be moving the book backwards and forwards. Um, but the paper is thick enough for gel pens and um, water based markers. Um, no alcohol based, but um, water based markers I think are fine. So this one here is Chess Cat, so that's a double page spread. And I do like cats. I'm definitely a cat person. So this would be a double page spread. So there's the mice. And here's our cat looking for the mice in amongst the trees. Like a lot of these are double page spread. I have to have a look on YouTube to see if somebody's done a page in this book. So, uh, they've got the little cats have got um, the umbrellas over here. And the rain, and there's the big that must be mummy cat. Oh, curled up sleeping. And this one. Just pulling it backwards and forwards like this just to give you a look um, is all right I'm trying not to do it too fast but I also don't want to do it too slow because then we never get through this hole <laughs> and I do have to hang washing out and put another load in Images do go into the seam. But it is a very cute book. It really is. Um, Bibliophile Colours did one like this. I don't know. I think it was in a different book though. From Cats on the Couch. Quite a big size book. 
see. These ones I bought myself. Um, Alpha Lily um, Creative Haven Winery. I put my discounted down. And uh, I thought, well, why not? Sorry about the scraping noise. It's just easier to pull the book backwards and forwards. So if you're hearing that scraping noise, sorry about that. If you want to, just mute the sound and look at the images if you want. It's a lot of leaves. There's a feather that I gave. Oh, got away. We get the little um, Asian house geckos in my shoes. So I took the shoes, shoe outside and let the gecko go. And then brought it inside and then she was still just sniffing around the shoe trying to find the gecko. But at least I saved it and went outside anyway. Now I think a very hot belly. Let me just wrap around that. raining cats more cats I've spotted a few pages in this one that I'd like to colour But there is only so much time in the day, and I want to do some of my other crafting as well. It's beautiful day. We've had a lot of rain lately. It's a beautiful day outside, so I hope it should stay fine enough for the boys to mow the lawns farm late this afternoon too. That would be nice, tidy up the lawns. But before they do that, I should cut my cat some more grass. Um, cut some grass out the front so she can eat it. If she's still got a little bit of an upset belly, it'll help her settle down the belly. It's quite a few of these pages. I'm just imagining this with um, gel pen. Okay. So the thumbnail little thumbnails of all the images. And they each have a title too. And that will be lots lots and lots of fun. Next is a colour by numbers book that I haven't seen before. Um of course cats. Colour me cat. Over 60 colour by number geometric artworks with Mia. Um, that down here might be the illustrator, I'm not sure, but I am not going to even try and pronounce that. Triangles. So they're basically triangles. So this looks like it's going to be fun too. Okay, Apple Press. Okay, so I'd say these are the images and the type of cat. Um, no guarantee my colours are going to be the same as this one. Um, they are on both sides there. But yeah, it is a bit annoying that um, backwards and forwards. The paper is actually quite thick which is nice. It's raining cats. I'm not going to read that one. Okay, techniques. So techniques, which I'm not going to read, not going to take any notice. Um, using the colour palette, which I'm going to do my own thing. So let's see. So it looks like we've got up the top a natural colour palette and down the bottom is a vivid colour palette. We'll do a mixture of both. So we've got more there and 
I presume these ones are practice ones. And yeah, double sided. So it will be um, gel pens, pencils, or board based markers. The paper should be fine for all of those because it's quite thick. Um, it does say up the top the name of the cat that's a Bengal, the natural colours, and the vivid colours. Okay, so it looks like, so that's basically, you know, that's what it is. I won't flip through the whole thing. Um, we've got these images on one side, so that might be so you can make yourself a cat mask or something on one of them, but I won't do that. I wonder if it actually, here we go. Yeah, so if you want to, you can make a mask, but I won't do that. I just can't. Next one is Creative Haven Christmas Cats. Uh, I thought it was very cute. Marjorie Sarnet. We are getting there. I've got to get to the Amazon ones yet. <laughs> So the images are absolutely adorable. Oh, kissy, kissy. Isn't that cute? We've got the teddy bears. So that's that one. One more I've got from Book Warehouse. Now I am not a Star Wars person, I am a Star Trek person, but this looked like a bit of fun. And I don't object to Star Wars, I mean I will watch it, but it's not my favourite thing. Star Wars dot to dot. Um, let's move that out of the way. Hardy Grant Egmont. Now, I won't, I'll give you an idea. This one got me intrigued because it's got two colours. Um, so, I, hopefully you can see it there. But, yeah, there's two colours. So, you do them in different colours. So, well, it looks like we've got red and black or it's a dark blue or something like that one. So, you know, you do the red numbers in the in a red pen. Um, so all to you because there is a hundred of them in here so I'll just give you a rough idea so that's what's in that book next I have got Amazon now what I will show you first which I've got to get up to reach again excuse me is it is where it is I've got the Crayola colours oh, colours of the world um, more based um, skin tones, which sounds good to me. So I haven't actually opened these, but yeah, I have on the side there, um, both sides, the colours. I haven't actually opened these yet. 
Now the next question is which way do they open? <laughs> okay, we've got tape there, but I don't have scissors on there because I took them in the other room to change, um, change, to put on a fresh ball of wool and cut off the excess. So I'll pull this tape off. Okay, tape is now off. If I can get it off my finger. Okay, now let's see, have I got it the right way around? No, I haven't turned it up. They come in these little trays. No, no, they're in boxes. Okay, so it didn't matter which way around I do it. Okay. So there's three of these boxes in here. And yeah, Colours of the World Crayola. So they are very wide. I'll grab a super tip so you can actually see. I did put my super tips in the pencil case. So I'll grab a super tip. Now these are the, so the Crayola super tips so I, can get, so I can give you a comparison. So they are shorter and fatter. Okay. Now the Crayola super tip top is like that if you can, okay and i'll pull the other one off don't let the lids go everywhere okay and that way you can have a comparison so you can see what difference there are in the tips just to give you a rough idea of the size of these ones push them on properly so they don't dry out So I'll put that back in there so I can keep everything together. Yeah, I think I said on a previous video I was thinking I was going to get them and thought of I'll do it when I um, do an, an order from the US, which I have done, obviously. So I'll put that back in and throw that behind me with everything else. <laughs> now, Increasing my creative haven supply here too. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like I've only got the one there. So I've got this one. Wish you were here. There are a lot of flip throughs on this one. This is Teresa Goodrich. Not the sort of book that I usually buy, but it is good to I don't know, do other things when I feel like it. Have the options. The line art is darker than I was expecting and there is little bits of sort of grey scale style in there where there's bits of shading. If you want better, better flip throughs of this one, there are plenty of them on YouTube for this book.
one. Throw it in the pile behind me. I'll sort that out eventually. Oh, bash my elbow. <laughs> Watch. Okay, next. Disney Princess Ultimate Coloring Book. It is um, just a children's book. Scholastic down there. Um, I won't give you a full flip through. I'll just um, give you an idea of what some of the images are like. Just basic images. Um, some of them have got little backgrounds like that, but yeah, that's going to be fun. I got another one. Uh, Toy Story Four. I do like the Toy Story books, the movies. Just basic images. Okay, next one, Scooby-Doo. I do like Scooby-Doo. My uh, Margaret, my sister-in-law, she loves Scooby-Doo. And a um, number of times when we needed to relax, we will just put Scooby-Doo on. Um, the new movie with Scoob, that is so funny. It's definitely worth watching Scoobies, but yeah. Once again, basic images. Children's book, thin paper, work in pencil. Lots of fun. Now, next one is Inspirational Quotes Colouring Book. Don't give up. Okay, now I do particularly need these inspirational quotes ones at times. <laughs> so, PK, is that Hermes or Hermes? Um, no illustrator on the back, no publisher on the back, I mean. So, we're into the book. Um, they do look like they're cut off and they should have a border around them, but that doesn't worry me. So, the paper is very thin. So, coloured test pages. Three of them. Um, so, this would be, I don't mind the paper's thin, but if they're going to do it like this, it would be better if they do actually do a border around it, which I don't mind. But I still like it. Better to be strong than pretty and useless. Uh, now, I'm not going to read all of these. As you can see, some of them are quite doodly, but I'm having a bit of practice at um, not having to, not actually doing all the doodles. Uh, some of them is actually hard to read the words at the moment because of the doodles behind, so I'll have to make sure when I colour it that the wording is easily seen. But this is definitely a gel pen book. Okay, we've gone from right side to left side. Okay, so that's a bit odd, but um, okay, those two will probably have to be done in pencil. That's a bit of a pain. But I have got another colour by numbers book that does that, and it is what it is. Maybe they're doing both for left, to cater for both right-handed and left-handed people. So that's that one. So. Janet Evans. Okay, there's the illustrator. Alien Super Fun Colouring Books for Kids and Adults. Speedy Publishing LLC. Okay, copyright details. Okay, kids love to colour, so do adults. Anybody who can pick up a pen would love to colour. Double sided, thin paper. Um, so um, I'll see if I can put it there so you can have a sort of look at both sides. But yeah, I don't want to move. It is a bit annoying moving backwards and forwards. 
can still have fun with it basically. Relaxation therapy. Some aliens. Cool. That one with the makes me think of cross between Mikey and Sally in Monsters Inc. Beep, beep. Beep, Whatever it is, it can wait. We've been getting a lot of thunderstorm warnings, but um, we've just been getting a lot of rain. Be nice for it to stay dry though today so the lawns can dry out to the I mean I'm not objecting, I don't mind the rain. Okay, other colouring books to buy and there aren't any. See? I've never seen that at all. At all. Okay. This one there is a flip through on YouTube. A snarky colouring book. Okay, let's go wine tasting on the couch. The best things in life are actually very, very expensive. Not really. How many books? Okay, let the shenanigans begin. Let's say. My laptop is having, as long as you can get this and you can see, we've got four more books. <laughs> that abracadabra, nope, you're still an idiot. and how I should live it. Please continue while I take notes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. My laptop is laggy, laggy, laggy. Am I? Uh, oh, no, it's going again. Okay. Laptop. I'm getting. I'm getting a um, new laptop. The um, keyboard on the screen. Any Minecraft. Um, look at last night, but I'm keen to go back to playing Minecraft. When I'm in place, then, then screw it, you're going first. Breathe in. Let's go. It's a good book. I like that one. Of course, I like it. I bought it. <laughs> so I have had some bad ones through, as you know. Okay, Zen patterns and designs, coloring for everyone. A fun anti-stress coloring book. Okay, Skyhorse Publishing. Find your inner Buddha with intricate Zen patterns created for adults. So it looks like there's some other books you can get. Okay, patterns, Zen patterns and designs, colouring for everyone. I'm not reading that. Uh, shows images of some of the patterns that can be done and are done. So as you can see, patterns and mandals. I will do it my own way. So I'll skip through a bunch of those. Single sided. So, they use whatever you want on it. So, 
that's going to be fun. It's the sort of image I like. Even that one. And it's got a border around it. Yay! Okay. They're getting a bit loopy. That's pretty. So as you can see, some are more doodly than others. A truck up the top of the hill. Stopping up there. Because when they come down there, they're very noisy. Definitely got a bit of a mixture in this one. I like that. A mixture of um, thin line art and darker line art. Where you can test out your colouring mediums. Okay. That's that one. Now with the next one, I used to like watching The Wizard of Oz. This is Welcome to Oz, adult colouring book. Um, art by Eric Schanauer. This is it down the bottom. Uh, and then I watched on YouTube a video on um, what the actors went through when making that show and now I can't watch it anymore. Um, poisoned by their makeup and one that was that wasn't able to keep going because of you he was sick by the makeup and everything and then they just fired him. I mean Disney really really didn't treat them well at all. So now since I watched that on YouTube, I can't watch the movie anymore. But <clears throat> this just looks like a colouring in book without, um, it's got various characters and writing on the other side, but I'm just going to do what I feel like with it. That's a very doodly page. So it's not actually based on, um, the movie. Um, a lot of these characters I don't know and I haven't read what's written on the other side. Actually only when I got it I only had a quick look at it. But I will, when I get to it I'll see what I'm going to do with it. It was just something to get um, to show you what it's like. The paper is actually quite thick. Um, Whole mixture of stuff, line art, grayscale, detailed, not so detailed. I'm getting, this is getting a bit weary. I might have to rest after this haul. Oh, here comes the truck. A bit of noise for a moment.
So it's something different. It's good to have a little bit of variety rather than the same thing all the time, I think. There's lots of thinking happening in that sentence, wasn't there? That's kind of scary. Poster kept in here. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's start from. Okay, so that's here. And we go across. And we go across. So there's a big poster in this one too. Okay. Two to go. Let's put that back in there. Let's hopefully that will go in there properly. Bend it where it's meant to be bent. And poke that in there. Aha, uh -huh. I've managed to do it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, this is a children's book that I saw, but I think this was a local store, not Amazon. I don't know. Not sure where I got this one from. <laughs> Small Steps for Big Change Jumbo Colour. Uh, would use um, water based markers or gel pens in this. I won't do a complete flip. But I'll show you bits and pieces. Uh, cool colours. Fill this mandalas with blues and greens by keeping yourself healthy and stretch. Reach towards your toes. I can actually still touch my toes, which is awesome. Slow down. Finish the B by adding in eyes and extra legs above. I don't draw. Draw what you are grateful for in the hearts below. Well, I won't draw, I might write, but I'm is a big one. Colour Quest Animals by John Woodcock. Now, this is a very, very tall book. It's also um, colour by numbers. So um, we've got here some are more intricate than others. We've got colour palette up the side here. I don't know if you can see it because it's so tall. Um, I think it's very cute. I had saw this book um, with a couple of completed images on YouTube. So yep, I was enabled to get this one. Just had to. Um, but yeah, that is my haul for March. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, um, I am going to do a major slowdown when it comes to buying books and buying things. Um, I am buying and getting another laptop made up locally. So I will need money for other things. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I like to thank people for being you because we are all individuals and we are who we are and we do the best we can with what we have. So make sure you're healthy. Um, make sure you look after your loved ones. And please do what you love. Bye.